guys, what's up? So I'm back here today and I have a brand new video. This video is going to be all about insoles, which is something that I've mentioned in previous videos before, but never really got into detail as to why I actually really love insoles. Um, so I thought that I would do that today because that's actually very important because every single shoe that I've reviewed, I have been wearing insoles with them. And I will let you know beforehand. So, uh, I have something on my lip. Okay, so insoles are going to be different for everyone. It's definitely the kind of thing where you have to go in and have um, into maybe a run specialty store. Just kind of go based off of your foot type if you, you know what your foot looks like. And so you can just go based off of that because there's different profiles and different arch heights for every insole. So the ones that I'm going to be showing you today are not necessarily the best for you, but just more of the brand and the way they work because all of these are gonna have different profiles within their brands. So just like anything else, take it with a grain of salt. I literally sound like a broken record. Like every single video, I'm just like, take it with a grain of salt, take it with a grain of salt. But literally, please take it with a grain of salt. So the two insoles that I'm gonna be showing you today are both, um, they're just comfort insoles. So this one is the Super Feet Comfort in the thin and this is the curex run pro in the low profile so i insoles serve two purposes they're either corrective or so that means that like if you overpronate and you're in a neutral shoe and you get an insole then it'll correct you rather than the correction coming from the shoe itself and that way you're able to be a little bit more versatile within the shoe that you want but the I've noticed that the best, most efficient run I've ever had is has been a combination of a great running shoe that's good for my foot type plus the Curex Run Pro insoles. So what these guys do is they basically cup the negative space in your foot. So they're super bendable. They they work with you, not against you. They're they're very um, bendy. But what I really really love about these is that I I struggle with clenching my toes when I run. Even if I have a shoe that's big for me, like, even if I have a shoe that has ample room, I still clench my toes and it freaking bothers me because I get blisters at the bottom of my toe, like, I get blisters on my toes. So, this guy actually has a metatarsal pad right in here, so it allows your feet to just naturally lift your toes up just enough to where you're not clenching them. So, that's one of the my favorite features. The other thing is... So if you can see, this plastic piece, if you've ever had an insole before, they're actually pretty abrasive. Um, they are rigid, and the plastic piece usually goes from here all the way across to here. But these guys are really cool because it's not only is it not a plastic, they're nylon condensed fibers, but the piece is only here. So literally, if you get the right profile height, it should only cup that negative space in your foot. So it's going to prevent things like plantar fasciitis, which is the overstretching of those tiny little tendons on the bottom of your foot. So these, I've noticed, have really changed my running. And especially when I was training for my half marathon, I noticed that I was able to go further and I was able to go longer without feeling pain in my feet, which for a while I was even starting to struggle with plantar fasciitis. And as soon as I put these in my shoe, they made all of the difference. So if you're doing performance-based things, these, I could not stress how much I recommend them. And I'll link them down below. Mine are the low profile, but that's because I have, a, that means I have a low arch. But depending on your arch height, you would either do, they have high, medium, and low. So you can either find a store that has them so you can try them on and get fit for them or you can just kind of eyeball it out based off of your arch height. Um, but yeah, so these guys, I could not stress enough how much this has changed the game for me. I literally put them in every single shoe. I put them in my workout shoes. I put them in my running shoes. I wear them to work. They are so comfortable. So if there's one thing that I definitely believe in for a performance-based insole if you are running if you are doing any active things try these out these or if you're even struggling with plantar fasciitis but don't like the abrasiveness of a super feet or of the power step which are two different insoles that have been highly recommended in the past for plantar fasciitis go for these these really work with your feet there i literally cannot stress them enough if you have a great running shoe already this will be such a game changer 
Um, and then the second insole that I have is more of something that I'll wear if I'm just standing on my feet for long periods of time. And these are the Super Feet Comfort insoles in thin. So this is more of your, tra your traditional insole in the sense of it's that hard plastic that goes all the way across. But it's not corrective, so it, little, it literally just has a, a minimal arch. And I only have these. Like, these are my second option. But I have these because it just so happened that the arch height on these worked really well for me. But since they're just comfort insoles, obviously this isn't going to be universal. So your arch may not hit in the right spot. But these are definitely my second um, go-to insoles just because of the comfort fit. Definitely don't run, I definitely don't run in them. I definitely don't do them for active lifestyle type of things. But to stand in for long periods of time, I definitely love these guys. And the next thing I was going to show you was, so the reason why I, I love my insoles so much is because, I don't know if you guys have ever pulled out the liner from the inside of your shoe, but this is literally what it is. Um, I can like bend it so many different times, like that's what's in your shoe. And then if you look on the inside of the shoe, it's flat. So your foot obviously doesn't, isn't like that. So if you get something that has just enough structure under your foot to not cause your foot to just overstretch and overstretch and overstretch in that shoe, it's going to let you go. It's going to allow you to go a lot longer in a run or be a lot more efficient or have less feet pain if you're standing on your feet all day because it's creating structure under your foot. So... I know this is a really short video in comparison to the other ones that I have, but I really just wanted to take the time to let you guys know that every single shoe that I've been reviewing, and probably almost every shoe that I am going to review in the future, even though I do try to go out and run in them without my insoles, these make such a difference to me, so I thought that I would let you guys know that I'm definitely wearing these in combination of a great running shoe. So, um, it's not that one's better than the other or that the insole can allow you to get less efficient shoes. For me, it's definitely a two-part thing in which the shoe and the insole, if you have a great shoe and you have an insole that fits you well, it's you're going to feel all the difference in your run. So I just wanted to get on here to let you guys know that that is what I've been using and I love them and I can't stress enough how much I love them. So if y'all are wanting to give insoles a try, if you've had bad experiences in the past with insoles, I would definitely look into the Curex Run Pro insoles. I'm going to link them down below because I'm obsessed with them. And um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions or any concerns or anything about things that maybe I didn't address, uh, just let me know in the description box down below, or not in the description box, in the, um, in the comments down below, and I'll answer them because I, I don't know, maybe there's things that I just missed or whatnot. I just gave you a general overview. Alright, you guys. Well, if you guys have any more questions or anything, just let me know, and I will see you guys later. Bye!